Et salut à tous, c'est Redcoff, j'espère que vous allez bien. On est là pour la React 2 du programme spécial de la 2.6, donc Guy Star Rail. Interroger les étudiants. Merci. <rire> C'est son prochain. Oh. Actors, take your positions. Three, two, one. Action. Ça a l'air euh, un patch très chill. Elle a complètement fou. Gamba Robin, le faucheur. Ok. Ça a l'air très chill, hein. Ce... Donc le premier code, ça expire dans 24 heures, bien évidemment. Oh, <rire> il brûle. Chronique de la cacophonie de Pénacolie. On a Erta aussi. Veritas Ratio à votre service. Greetings, I am the dazzling ninja. Ok, Rappa. Rappa. Once again, a warm. Precious. I thought this was supposed to be an academic seminar. Why is it so chaotic again? I'd say there's not much difference between Pénacolie. Is full of performances, graffiti, and even ninjas. That's right. I myself am a ninja. Never mind. Hmm. Albert, can you explain why we come back to Pinacone again? <coughs> Actually, this time, uh, Pinacone's Paperfold University has extended an invitation to the entire cosmos. This okay. prestigious cosmic institution is preparing for a new okay, semester. Ouais, C'est vrai qu'il y avait un petit vibe euh, fac, euh, académie. For this very occasion, ah bah oui, la fac. <rire> c est, c est, c est, je, quand j'ai vu les tables et tout, j'ai fait l'amphithéâtre, euh, la fac, l'université. The crew of the Astral Express has been invited by the university to attend the event as distinguished guests. Turns out the people of Penacani are so dedicated to ninjutsu. They even study it in their dreams. The history of this university is closely intertwined with that of Penacani. According to legend, Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for Dreamweavers and was founded by Glox, head of the Nightingale family. Glock's Avenue in Golden Hour was also named after this former dean. That's right. A dreamscape school is unlike those of the real world. Imagination can be brought to life in dreams, giving Paperfold University a unique edge in its teaching methods. Dean Glock's hope that this university will provide a more open, free, 
an imaginative curriculum supplying the cosmos with innovative minds. So today, we have the honor of welcoming the cosmic singer and a famous Paper Bowl Maybe. University alumna, Ms. Robin, to share with the audience all there is to know about the university. Ça a l'air éclaté. Surtout, je les supporte pas, ces piaf. Pour ceux, pour ceux qui m'ont vu en live sur HSL. Tu es recru sur le campus de l'université Ouais, on a toujours ces connards de la CPI. Des postes de NK. C'est trop nul, en fait. Ok, donc la nouvelle sonne. À l'heure de sol. Scène principale, ok. T'as l'air d'une zone assez safe où genre il a vraiment pas d'ennemis. Les amphithéâtres, bah oui, ça c'est ce que j'ai appris. C'est horrible. Le côté, attention. Ok, avec les singes. Ouais, voilà, c'était bien chant. Snowy Owl Hoop University. Please stop using me as a pass, Snowy Ninja. In an outrage. Ok, Banana Ninja Front, une guerre sans pitié. Donc, ça, c'est la quête euh, pionnière. Ok, Banana Front, une guerre sans pitié. Donc, ça, c'est la quête pionnière. Pourquoi ils n'ont pas présenté le personnage ah, Peut-être après, peut-être après. Maintenant, shareholder. They'll end up in Fortune Academy. Mm, given how creative they are, Dreamweaver Academy isn't out of the realm of possibility either. <laughs> no need to keep our guests guessing. <laughs> given the Trailblazers' personality, of course they'll make their own choice. Peut-être après on aura un choix, ça peut être intéressant. This year's Academy tuning test will be different from previous years. With Mr. Rekka, the famous director and guest professor at Mr. Rekka, c'est de l'antagoniste, celui avec ses singes. That's right. Mr. Rekka is famous across the cosmos. He's the genius behind Soul Shattered Dark Star and has launched the careers of countless major stars across the universe. To reflect Mr. Rekka's teaching methods, this year's tuning test has been turned into an audition. Why are you so excited all of a sudden, Snowy Ninja? <laughs> Naturally, as a seasoned actor myself. I've always had the dream of becoming one of Mr. Rekka's leading men. Hmm, perhaps I should join. Uh, moreover, during the anniversary, the members of the Sweet Dreams troupe will step in for the teachers, acting as assistant Annas and prop Annas. Assistant Anna? Earlier, Slumber Nana Monkey has become incredibly, overwhelmingly trendy at Paperfold University. Bananis is the most popular form of communication at Paperfold University. Is this appropriate? Why, of course. But in reality, it's often quite bizarre. There's usually a mastermind behind such phenomena. Marie Can we ça. truly believe the meteoric rise of Slumber Nana Monkey was entirely natural? 
When something out of the ordinary happens, you can bet there's something. Le trailer, le trailer l'a montré que les singes étaient bizarres. This could very well be the sorcery of the emotionless, soulless, and merciless evil ninja Osaru at work. Apes, monkeys, bananas. I feel like the truth isn't too far out of reach. This kind of drivel cannot be permitted to spread any further. Albert, do you have any means to put a stop to it? On this point, I'd like to remind everyone of something. Remember back in 2.3, when another well-known director, Sparkle, sent the Trailblazer a message? You mean when it said Dr. Primitive actually loves to eat bananas? Ah. A masked fool would never reveal information without a twist. They're always playing pranks. Don't worry. This is exactly why I'm here in Penacani. Silver Gun Chiro will also be lending me a hand. With the strength of the ninja hero, all wickedness will be purged. D'accord, donc c'était déjà un peu cool pour la 2.3. Let's start by watching a video to learn about our new Galaxy Ranger Ah oui, bah voilà, c'est ça mon jeu. Donc Rappa, le nouveau personnage. Rappa Oh l'art, euh, l'ulti, le, les styles de fou. Alors le fait qu'elle descend du bâtiment, euh, harmonie. Et l'autre, j'ai pas le sens. has always considered herself a ninja, and she attributes everything in the world to ninjutsu. It's as if the world she sees is different from everyone else. Her world is filled with ninjas and ninjutsu. So her entire worldview is fundamentally different from others? No matter. The way of the ninja has many forms, but they all converge in the end. Even if our ways of speaking differ, I am certain we ninjas will understand one another. For instance, when she mentioned the silver gun Shura, She was ah, actually referring to <laughs> She also calls long. Dan Hung Ninja Hiryu. Okay. And the trailblazer, the, dead... the baseball bat ninja. <laughs> ninja à la de baseball. Right. Can you guess who Ninja Ruri and the songstress ninja are? Ruri is referring to March 7th. And I suppose the songstress ninja is Miss Robin? Exactly. Twirling Ninja is truly a master of the erudition. She has already grasped the way of the ninja. Twirling? <coughs> Due to her unique way of perceiving the world, Rappa tends to identify key features of things and then describe them using ninja-related terms. <laughs> Basically, she sees everything around her through... Well, a a de, de <laughs> oh. By the way, the name Rappa is quite unusual. Uh, does it have any special meaning? It means, of all ninjutsu methods, this name suggests my heart shall remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. This is the way ordained by the Great Lan. In essence, it means wiping out evil and standing up for justice, which is the core belief of the Galaxy Rangers. I've heard that Rappa rescued travelers being chased by comets, freed experimental test subjects persecuted by evil ninjas, and helped a village that was tricked by the evil ninja Rosaru, among many other such deeds. It seems as if Rappa's heart really will remain unmoved. Until evil has been purged and justice enacted. As for Rappa's unique way of speaking, all will be revealed in the version 2.6 Trailblaze okay. Continuance Mission. Thank you, Snowy Ninja, for your insightful explanation. I am excited to see. To know Rappa, you'll undoubtedly notice her strong commitment to justice and a fierce opposition to evil. Ah, contre le mal. Traits shared by all Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> Mais elle en fait partie ou Only Forkaroni she's really strong. Next, let's dive into a demonstration of Miss Rappa's ninjutsu. When I use my technique, I enter the graffiti state, swiftly moving forward, attacking any enemies in my path. So, this is dazzling ninjutsu, huh J'ai fait visuel sur ça. all over the place. Are you sure you didn't pick this up from a certain hacker? Wait, is 
Is that a skateboard you're standing on? This is a ningu. Time to unleash a flurry of ninjutsu techniques. When entering combat in the graffiti state, ouais. I reduce the toughness of all enemies irrespective of their type de faiblesse. Oh, c'est nice. During ça. battle, rapper's skill will inflict imaginary type damage on all enemies. tous les ennemis. After activating my ultimate, I enter the seal form state. Gain a certain number of chroma ink points and unleash Ningu, Demon Bane Petal Blade. Aha, a first person combat perspective. How utterly unexpected. Ooh, take a look. The opponent is a new enemy which will appear in version 2.6, the Banacademic Office. What are they yelling? Banacademics publishing academic oh, they... titles? Transformation bizarre. Ah, d'accord. Ah, d'accord. D'accord. Après les effets de couleur sont stylés mais j'ai pas l'impression qu'elle fait tant de dégâts que ça. Je pense que c'est surtout pour briser les ruptures. Je pense c'est pour ça. Is this the ninja mantra that Rapper was talking about? Uh, perfect time. Je sais pas si je vais la Ok, donc la bannière, Rappa. Ah, elle est érudition. Par contre, il y a un personnage là, du à gauche. Euh... Euh, J'ai plus son nom. J'ai plus son nom qui est Kfaj la montre. Et en deuxième, on a euh, Dead Egg en inhibitor euh, lunaire. Ok. Has also been added to this banner lineup. Ok, donc celui-là c'est le gratuit. Je pense que j'ai plus envie de poule à Kéron. Pour la voir, ou même avoir son, son code. Donc ça peut être pas mal. Genre la voir C1, euh, pour bien la booster. Le programme va résumer. Ok, on a le deuxième code. Let's keep showcasing the exciting and vibrant life okay, donc ça, at Paperfold les... University. Les events. After resolving the turmoil at Paperfold University, the incredible campus, which is being enthusiastic for different academies, will express their dreams and by the trailblazer okay. can take part in the Dreamlight Anniversary Manager Music Party as the band manager. Working with the band leader, the avec Rappa, ninja le leader hero. du groupe. Ok, bah, c'est un event avec Rappa, Rappa leading the band in career path. And now, a band manager? What exactly does a band manager even do? To create enchanting ninja music that touches the audience, the honorable baseball bat ninja will be lending me a hand in discovering musical inspiration. That's right. The trailblazer will journey around the world, exploring places where peculiar rhythm patterns have appeared and record the unique musical beats. For example, the bird duet at Paperfold University, inputting your responses based on the rhythm and patterns of the music and the birds. Just a heads up, if you accidentally miss a beat, the whole performance might fall apart. <laughs> Time to put the trailblazer's sense of rhythm to the test. The music party will feature three performances on the central stage, each with a distinct style. The band manager's goal is to ensure all three shows go off without a hitch. After collecting enough audio ensemble. tracks, the trailblazer can arrange and edit the tracks to create a composition. composition. Okay. Once the composition is completed, the background music in the performance scene will change accordingly. Band members will take the stage and the lighting and some set pieces will move to the rhythm of the music. Sway to the cosmic beat together. Of course. While preparing for the three live performances with the band, many music-loving friends will step in to offer their help. Such as the musical veterans from the band Mechanical Fever or Miss uh. Robin, a graduate of Charmony Academy. Mm. Both are very supportive of this new band. 
Wow, il y aura même un petit euh, con d'event, okay, euh, con pardon. Et si je suis un responsable pour résoudre les membres émotionnels et d'inspirer l'entire band à travailler harmonieusement. Je suppose que c'est à être expecté. Band members often have their share of uncertainties and frustrations. It's only natural. So long as no one leaves the band, drops out of school, or starts lying to each other, everything will be just fine. Oh, going through tears for everyone. Any other intriguing content in version two? The Trailblazer will receive an offer from a familiar face to work together. Once Shirello 6 was reconnected to the Silver Rail, our old friend Sampo took a trip beyond the stars and stumbled upon a new business opportunity. He's gearing up to open a Mr. Coldfeet store. Fortune. Without a doubt, Sam. Money making schemes that come from a masked fool. Rest assured, old Sampo might have tricked all his pals, but he never deceived the Trailblazer. During the Mr. Coldfeet store event, All the Trailblazer needs to do is submit different materials to Sampo each day, synthesize meme products, and collect dividends. Plus, you'll be able to see what buyers from all corners of the universe have to say about the merchandise. So he only spares the Trailblazer from his tricks? <laughs> <laughs> According to the rumors, other than working with Cold Feet Full okay, Ninja, enfin, baseball bat euh, ninja will be entrusted with you. another special task from Win Chi Chi in version 2.6. Don't tell me. It's another wanted notice for Boot Hill. Uh, given that Boot Hill's bounty keeps rising, it's no wonder every happenings of the Galaxy Rangers and in, in the shadow of the Ranger event, the Trailblazer must complete different assignments to obtain rewards. Galaxy Rangers, plural. Pourquoi il est pas déjà fait comme ça? Is also under investigation. Where the Galaxy Rangers go, you'll find okay. both. Okay, donc okay, on fait rapport si nous on joue de la Galaxie. <laughs> That's all, thank Mr. Wen Shi Chi. In addition to these events, version 2.6 will bring us a ah, much anticipated simulé. third simulated universe DLC update, following the swarm disaster and golden gears. This time, a massive void known as the Demain Unknowable de Domain has a was in the process of simulating a historical event Demain known as the historique. Scholar's Strife, which followed the Second, Second Emperor's War. Uh, ouais. hang on a second. That's a uh, far too many confusing ninja phrases to understand. <sighs> Treating this kind of mental sluggishness takes more than a day. Albert, please provide a more detailed explanation for everyone. <laughs> I get it. Uh <laughs> and this time, there's also some juicy gossip about Madame Herda. Huh? <laughs> so, what exactly is the Scholar's Strife? <laughs> It's quite a long story. <laughs> story. <laughs> After Emperor Rupert II's death, many scholarly factions fought tooth and nail for his legacy. <laughs> the right to distribute and use the Scepter System's computational resources. In short... <laughs> The Scepter System is a cluster of inorganic bionic neurons created by Rupert II. It functioned as his external thinking unit and had incredible processing capacity. After the Second Emperor's War, numerous intact Scepter units were handed over to the Intelligentsia Guild by the IPC for research. For scholars, even gaining access to just 1% or even 1/10,000th of the system's computational power would drastically reduce the difficulty of their research and significantly speed up their results. This disparity in productivity is what ultimately fueled the scholar's strife. Okay. As for the unknowable domain, it involves a personal rumor about Madame Herda. <laughs> Can we even talk about this, madam? I have nothing to be ashamed of, and I wouldn't exactly label it as a rumor either. Even for a genius such as myself, the journey of scientific research is not without its challenges. My research goal is to expand the total knowledge of the universe. But every time I feel on the verge of a breakthrough, some inexplicable obstacle seems to arise, hindering my progress. Looks like even the great twirling ninja has her setbacks from time to time. And I believe that this unknowable domain is one of those inexplicable obstacles. 
is preventing us from gaining specific knowledge and unearthing a particular part of history. Correct. Thus, the great Madame Herda has decided to simulate the Scepter System, resurrect Emperor Rupert II, and add a fifth collaborator to the simulated universe in order to push past this research bottleneck. Let's get straight to the point. I need the Trailblazer's help to gather data on the Scepter. As a result, the combat rules in this simulated universe will be completely different from the previous ones. In the simulated universe, Unknowable Domain, the Trailblazer's combat buffs, will be centered on the scepter and its components. The Trailblazer okay. can acquire and equip up to three scepters, each sept. possessing unique offensive effects and charging des, conditions. Des bonus, In combat, once specific conditions are met, a scepter can be activated to deliver powerful attacks on the enemy. During exploration, you can also acquire components and decision components that can be equipped onto the scepter, creating extraordinary combo effects during combat. Oh, okay, ouais. Faire des and combinaisons. how exactly do components differ from decision components? Components provide significant boost to the effects of the scepter. Decision components, on the other hand, are rarer and, when equipped, greatly increase the frequency of which the scepter can be used while also creating powerful synergies between multiple scepters. Wow! It looks Comme like ninja formations and ninjutsu tactics are way more versatile now. Huh. You can also combine lower tier components to create higher tier ones, granting ouais, more significant combat boosts. Évidemment. Overriding components to change their type is also possible in specific domains. During the initial phase of exploration, the Trailblazer can collect scepters in different domains and equip them with suitable components to enhance their power. In the mid to late phase, the Trailblazer can strategically combine scepters and components, creating powerful synergies between multiple scepters to defeat the final formidable foe. I trust the Trailblazer comprehends everything by now, don't they? Go ahead and run the tests, and be sure I receive a report as well. T'as l'air assez vénère quand même, hein, les dégâts là qu'on voit. The simulated universe store will be updated with light codes and superimposition materials from previous events, allowing trailblazers who missed out to purchase them as needed. Oh, tutorial missions can now be restarted too? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's take a short break and we'll keep the show going. Okay. Troisième code, bon oh, là je pense c'est la fin. Ouais, je pense c'est les trucs d'optimisation, c'est le plus intéressant ce. Stagnant shadow, shape of timber. We'll be going live soon, and by successfully ah, meeting, you can obtain essential materials Délévation. for imaginary characters. Cavern of corrosion. Path ouais, of uncertainty pour, is also set to launch. Uh, successfully beat uh, it to be rapport. rewarded with two relic sets: secure doses, relived ordeal, and scholar lost in erudition. Indeed. The Garden of Plenty event will be returned. Ouais. The Odyssey, like my wars, it's just ouais. gotta be. Knowingly learn. It's time to say goodbye, and that's a. Hey yo yo, it's a special thing all of a sudden. This is. C'est tout. Même pas de trucs d'optique, d'accord. Bon, là, ils font juste durable, donc on s'en bat les couilles. Euh, alors, c'était très intéressant. En vrai, après petit patch. Franchement, c'était petit patch. Euh, une quête pionnière où il y a le mec euh, euh, celui qui va nous faire les cours en fait c'est un gros un fou euh, donc avec Rappa on va, on, va, on va le stopper avec Robin euh, tout, toute l'équipe etc une nouvelle zone euh, donc Rappa le nouveau personnage et après bah, on a bah, un event un gros event et euh, deux petits events, plus un nouveau truc de l'univers simulé, et c'est tout. C'est un, un petit patch. Euh, après, je sais plus. C c je, après, je pense que euh, c'est peut-être le dernier patch avant qu'on passe à la 3.0. Non, je pense, je pense qu'il restera un patch, la 2.7. Euh, et, et après, je pense qu'on passera à la 3.0. Parce que généralement, ils annoncent toujours la nouvelle planète dans le, la, la fin d'une émission. Je veux dire, dans la fin d'un programme. Donc, je pense que ça sera le prochain patch. Euh, mais voilà, là, c'est le petit patch avant que le prochain patch soit, on va dire, le, souvent les derniers gros patchs. C'est souvent des patchs un peu style euh, événement, euh, genre mode euh, anniversaire. Ou genre, je sais pas, il y a une festivité, ce genre de truc. 
avant d'attaquer euh, avant d'attaquer on va dire euh, la nouvelle planète donc, euh, donc pour ça donc bien évidemment euh, bon je pense qu'on n'a pas la date mais si on a reçu ça je pense que ça sera le mercredi 23 je pense généralement je sais pas, ouais le 23 ouais, voilà le 23 octobre c'est donc c'est marqué ici donc le 23 octobre euh, on le fera en live bien évidemment vous, donc vous avez le lien de, de la chaîne Twitch dans la description donc, euh, donc pour ça donc euh, voilà après j'ai pas grand chose à dire Alors, Rapa je sais pas si je vais la poule je pense que je pense pas que je vais la poule je pense que je vais plutôt poule pour Acheron euh, plutôt pour Acheron je sais pas j'hésite je, je, encore parce qu'en vrai euh, j'ai pas l'impression qu'elle fait tant de dégâts je pense que c'est plus une support ou une sub DPS euh, mais c'est que son ulti je trouve stylé le fait qu'elle descend les bâtiments avec les effets de couleur je trouve ça grave stylé mais après à voir pour la 2.7 peut-être la 2.7 on va avoir un personnage ultra stylé ultra pété euh, ou soit j'économise pour la 3.0 ça peut être cool ça aussi donc euh, à voir par rapport à ça euh, mais, donc, mais après bien évidemment on fera en live pour découvrir l'histoire etc en espérant qu'il y aura euh, pas mal de trucs pour et non pas juste la quête pionnière et euh, c'est tout donc, euh, donc voilà donc euh, merci à ceux qui regarderont la react comme je sais vous aimez bien la react et tout moi je continue toujours donc euh, voilà pour ceux qui regarderont jusqu'au bout n'hésitez pas à lâcher un pouce bleu à vous abonner si la vidéo vous a plu et on se dit euh, voilà, on se dit le 23 octobre sur Starrel ou sur d'autres vidéos YouTube ou sur d'autres lives bien évidemment. Euh, je live très régulièrement donc euh, on peut se voir très souvent. En tout cas, merci à vous. Passez euh, une bonne journée, une bonne soirée et on se dit à la prochaine. Allez, ciao ciao